Okay, that's a nice big extra large weasel. They are skinned like anything else. They're tube skinned. They put up uh, flesh out or fur in, however you want. The only thing about them is that they're tiny. So it makes it a little bit more difficult and a lot easier to, to poke a, a gland. And they have a pair of glands at uh, right by the vent. Now I used to take and go to the vent when I skinned. Uh, now I go straight across. And it really doesn't make any difference on, for length on, uh, on a weasel. But what it does do is it allows me a little easier work around the vent where I might poke that, um, that gland. Because the glands are, there's one on each side. And there's not a lot of room here at the tail to get around and not poke something. You're going to poke it probably half the time, so don't, don't be too concerned. Or it'll be so full that the pressure will cause it to, to pop out. There we go. We're close there. This is the trickiest part of the whole thing. I mean, all it is, is it smells as a whole, but, and it doesn't smell really that bad. Like I say, I get them about half the time. Okay, seems that I got her all. Yes, sir. Okay, tough part's over. I use this to do the legs on Martin and Mink and Fisher and everything. The little weasel's no different. over his back. Sometimes you have a little bit of meat that wants to come with it. It doesn't matter. You get that easy later on. As far as his tail goes, I just use my fingers, squeeze and pull. Away you go. Once we get loose of the belly here and, the be and if the belly doesn't tear open, which I mean, these, most of these are getting caught with big body grips, so they're, they're, they're crunched somewhere on them. <laughs> there we go. Down to the front legs. Back to my handy this. Just like that. Boom. One ear. The other ear. Come down to the eyeballs. Right there. Easy to make a, a mess on the eyeballs on a weasel. Yeah, I mean, it's meaningless, but their eye, eyeballs and the, the, uh, are kind of indented a bit there. And it's pretty easy to make a good mess. It's just one of those things of pride, right, guys? Okay, we take it down. There, you see, there's the chin. We don't need the chin. Give it a little squeeze. Boom. Boomy. Put them on the board. Okay, you got a little bit of fat in their armpit area. You're gonna have a little bit of fat down here on the, the skirt. That is it. There is not a lot to do in one of these. I like to use a little bit of sawdust. Really the sawdust just gives me the ability to pinch onto the fat and take it off. You don't worry about any saddle or anything like that. Just get rid of the fat. Like I say, his armpits, and then down here. There's that little bit of, of meat that's stuck on the, on the hide. There we go. Be 
Beautiful. Okay. They are left hide out. Nice, give them a little pull. Uh, I don't bother splitting the tail. It dries good the way it is. I like to tie these together. It doesn't mean anything. It's just something I like doing. I don't know. My OCD. There we go. Boom! That easy. <laughs>